Hey everybody, welcome to vlog number eight. If you recall in episode number six, I was installing an irrigation caddy, which is an electronic Wi-Fi sprinkler controller. It not only does a great job of controlling a sprinkler system, but you can configure it via a web interface, which is really great. And if you set it up right, you can access it from anywhere in the world. It's a great product. I've been using it about two years. Awesome. If you recall last week I tried to install an updated version of my irrigation caddy. I presently have version 1 and I wanted to update to version 2. Unfortunately the weather turned on us and we didn't get to install the version 2 irrigation caddy. But today we do get to install it. Irrigation caddy install continued. So for today's installation the only tools we need glasses and a small screwdriver. First thing to do is loosen the screws that are going to house the wire. Look, I just discovered that the terminal block pulls right out. So, though the old irrigation caddy looks exactly the same as the new one, the new one has a new firmware version. So I have to actually send this into the factory to get the firmware update, which is a free update. And then we'll probably use this at Patty's house. I'll probably make it like a Christmas gift. Life hacks. Here's an old cell phone I'm using as a slave to charge batteries. Brand new battery, ready to go. Stick the new battery in, fire it up. Check that out, instantly we have 100% power. Love it. Now we stick the old battery in the, in the slave charger and it is ready to go. Mail time. Wow, today I got so much mail that the mailman actually left. He left me this United States Postal Service official box. I'm sure you didn't intend for me to keep it. Let's put this outside. This box comes from one of my fans in California. All right, I don't really have any fans in California. This is just something I ordered probably from eBay or Amazon. But I think Amazon uses their own boxes, don't they? So this is probably from eBay. Aha, I know what these are. Anyone want to bet a dollar? It's a battery. It's like I got two of them. Great. Yes, I know I have the sticker on my glasses. Why do I keep the stickers on my glasses? So I know what power they are. These are twos. Pet peeves. Here's another pet peeve. Web websites that don't work, especially from large corporations like eBay. I have a dispute with a seller. I said, hello, I received an empty package last week. Is this your, the package you sent? And I had video of me opening the package. Send message. Send a message to the seller. Continue. Add message to the seller. Send message. Continue. Add a message to the seller. Send message. Continue. Okay. Paste. Okay. Send message. Okay. Continue. Okay. Send message. Okay. I mean, come on. Isn't eBay worth like a gazillion dollars? How many developers do they have on staff? God. And there's my pet peeve for the day. Life hacks. Like a lot of people, I like coffee. Unlike a lot of people, I like cream and sugar in my coffee. The problem is I don't make my own coffee every day. So what happens is I end up with dairy products that end up sitting in the refrigerator for a long time. Case in point, now I love this stuff, but clearly it's out of date by about 20 days. Today's the 26th, by the way. So here's the secret to using old dairy products. First off, the heavier the cream, the longer you can go past the day. So regular milk, you can go a week. Uh, cream, you can go like two, three weeks. Heavy whipping cream, you can go a month past the date. So here's what I do. First, you gotta shake it up. So what does that do? What does shaking it up do? Shaking it up shakes the freshness back into the cream. So I know what you're thinking. Oh bullshit, this guy's lying to us. He's gonna die if he drinks that cream. I'm not gonna die, and I'm gonna show you. 
The problem with most people is they test their dairy products wrong. Like this is a brand new container, so it's pretty easy to check this. We just shake it up, open it, smell it, taste it, taste good. There you go, 20 days past the expiration date, and this heavy whipping cream is still good. That's why I always recommend heavy whipping cream for your coffee. Oh yeah, that's good. Windows, tips and tricks. So here's a little known trick that's actually kind of cool. It's uh, the Windows multiple renaming utility. So let's say I've got these five files here, right? And they all have to do with the same thing. I'm going to call these files intro. Well, what you can do is you can highlight all the files. Then you can hit the F2 key and that will rename all the files in that set. But here's the real trick. I'm not going to, I'm just going to hit enter here. The real trick is to start from the bottom and work your way up. This way the numeric order of the file naming convention matches your dates here. If I start at the top and I go down and I hit the F2 key, it actually renames the bottom file, the last file I accessed. But if I start at the bottom and work my way up and hit F2, now I can call this intro and watch what happens. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? So I've got intro 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a great way to save a lot of time naming your files. And that's Windows Tips, Tricks, and Hacks by Donnie Frank.